It's Louisa Zakis from Marpe Nutrition. Thanks for joining us. Today I want to talk about recipe substitutes. I know I get a lot of questions about that, so I'm here to kind of go an overall um, idea of what we do here for recipe substitutes. And I don't know if you have one of these, but I have, well, my anniversary is coming up. I'm 25 years married, and I got this, I think, in my bridal shower. So it's 25 years old. As you can imagine, it has 25 years of recipes in there. So lots of good old favorites. And I pulled out a few that I, um, that I really used to enjoy, and now we're going to take them and actually make them a little healthier. So first one here would be chocolate chip cake. So this is one of my favorites. So I will post them um, under the, the video, but just overall, it has things that like cinnamon and sour cream and sugar and chocolate chips. So instead of and flour, so instead of regular flour, what do we do? We can do, there's definitely one-to-one -one exchanges. You can't use coconut flour because that's not really one-to-one -one exchange. But if you have this recipe, you can use an einkorn flour. Also, quinoa flour works. It's a little strong. And uh, buckwheat here too. If you grind this, you can use buckwheat flour. And it makes a really good one-to-one -one substitute for any kind of flour. So flour also takes sour cream, uh, which makes the, the cake really nice and moist. But instead of sour cream, we use raw yogurt. So if you want to find out where to get that, you can contact me. And we love our fresh raw yogurt from the farm. Vanilla is great. Uh, butter, always get organic. Eggs, organic. Sugars, you can do a couple things. You can do this. Now, this particular recipe is, is quite a bit of sugar, one and a half cups. Now, I don't do that. I do maybe um, probably two thirds of that. So I might do a cup of sugar if you're making this recipe for a dessert or something. And you can use this kind of recipe or coconut palm sugar. There's other options. Maple syrup is really common, but it's liquid, so you kind of have to figure out that, that, um, that substitution. Baking powder is fine just for the aluminum free. Make sure there's no aluminum and baking soda. And also cinnamon. Cinnamon is actually really good for you. So this is a good recipe. If you substitute the flours and do good butter, good eggs, and the different sugars, it's actually a really decent recipe for your family. So I'll post this for you, but you can try this. And then this is another one here. This is one of our favorites over the years. So I think it's got sugar in it. But it's actually called, a, it was called Total House Pie. And we used to make it all the time. And we used to get a, a pie crust at the store and just put these ingredients in it. Well, no pie crust here for this one. Because otherwise, you can make it to a pretty decent pie for your family. So just do a casserole dish. So eggs would just be organic. Flour, again, you can use the einkorn or the quinoa or the buckwheat, any of those things. Fine. So sugar, it says a half cup sugar. Well, I would do a quarter. You won't notice a texture difference, which is nice. So you could do this or this. And one cup of the walnuts. So just get raw walnuts. You don't have to put a whole cup in. Almonds and walnuts are pretty decent raw. So you can do that. And then chocolate chips. We have chocolate chips. You can get some good dark chocolate chips. But we have lilies are good. They're sweet with stevia. So that's a nice option. And then, of course, the pie shell, which we'd skip. So this is a nice, the Toll House recipe made healthy style is a good option to do for the family well, if you're looking for some kind of dessert for the family. And this one, this one's called Peach Pie Supreme for my aunt. And this one contains vanilla pudding and margarine and canned peaches and let's see, powdered sugar and peach juice. So all those things we really would not want to use. So can I do a substitute on this? I could try. But in our family, we make peach cobbler a lot. Peach cobbler is nice because you don't have to worry about the base. You just have to do the topping. The peaches are fine. You just have to do the topping. So I'll tell you what's in our peach cobbler recipe. Instead of using this one, it would be peaches, maple syrup, fresh lemon juice. And then instead of a cornstarch, we use arrowroot powder. And if the topping, we'll do the einkorn or any of these other flours. And then we do a coconut sugar. And then, of course, that baking powder that's aluminum-free sea salt, and then butter, and then boiling water, and that's pretty much it for the peach collar. So you don't need the vanilla instant vanilla pudding and things like that, which is nice. So anyway, so yes, yeah, so if you have any tried and true old recipes, let us know, and we can figure it out and make you, make you a, a healthier version. If you have any questions, uh, post in the comments. It would be good to hear from you. Have a good night.